I did my undergrad at UBC. I did um, the biophysics program, and the genome science and technology was a new program that was um, headed by Carl Hansen, or beginning with Carl Hansen, and I was working at, in his lab at the time. And it sounded like a great program with the ability to do rotations through different labs. So I thought that was a great opportunity, so I jumped on it. But there's other people from chemistry, there's people, I think there's a guy from computer science in my program, um, just anywhere. So I'll be working at this computer and I'll be a bioinformatician working at that computer. So if I've got any questions about bioinformatics, I can turn around and ask them. Or if they've got any questions about the lab work I'm doing, we're really in close proximity. We're, we're not biologists, we're not uh, computer scientists, we're all just scientists. When I first started on this project, um, it wasn't it wasn't going at all. Steven just had this idea in his head. He said, I've got all this robots that I'm not using. Um, I'd love for you to set it up and get it working. So I said, well, okay, I'll, I'll try my best. He said, don't worry, I'm not expecting too much off you. Um, and then started working with these robots, learned the first one, learned the second one, learned the third one, and put them all together. And now instead of doing a couple 384 well plates a week, I can do about 100 in a day. So in these plates, there's 384 small wells. I grow different bacterial culture in each one of them. So I'll usually be running about 100 plates at a time. Um, so I'm basically assaying like 40,000 different cultures. And I'm assaying them for the ability to degrade cellulose. So cellulose is the most abundant biomass um, in the world. It's in all sorts of plants and in everything really. I think it accounts for 30 to 40 percent of the world's carbon. So the ability to break it down is not very common, but um, what we're doing is we're screening metagenomic libraries, so DNA from all the DNA, all the bacteria from soil, uh, things like that, for the ability to break down the cellulose into glucose, which you can then use to make ethanol mm -hmm. for biofuel purposes. So they're expecting the cellulosic ethanol to overtake the production of corn-based um, fuels within the next 20 years. Being a master's student, uh, Steve doesn't mind if I come in on the weekends. If there's a big powder day on a Thursday, I'll go ski on a Thursday and I'll come work on a Saturday. And it's flexibility like that that's really, uh, yeah, great balance. With a program like this one, there's 15 projects to choose from and there's only six students, odds are you're gonna get to work where you wanna work. Not only do you get your choice, but the professor is excited to have you because he's lucky to get one of the students.